Yo, it's your boy Picante Nino. Today, I'm gonna tell you guys how to get a hundred free cron stones daily in about five minutes. Everyone's been just glossing over this fact now because number one, the older players will know that this was like just too too tedious to do. But now, since the gear score inflation happened, we're gonna be talking about Pit of the Undying. Those of you guys who don't know what Pit of the Undying, you just go to the menu, you type in Pit of the Undying Pit. I'm just gonna type in Pit, and it comes right here. From this, you need to do a couple of quest lines to get into, but this is the key to get you 100 free cron stones a day. So let's just jump into it. Okay, so those of you guys who don't know what to do the Undying is, basically you're gonna get teleported into a pit and you're just gonna be fighting these gladiator mobs in this like 1v1 type style quest. And then whenever you kill the mobs, you get these seals of Undying and you just turn them in to the dude on top of the chamber or whatever it is. And you just trade it in for Cronstones. There are many, many rewards. And I'm gonna swap over right now so you guys can see it. So go over here, I type in Pit of the Undying. So every Pit of the Undying, every time you do the Pit of the Undying, you're gonna end up leveling up this uh, this Insignia. And this Insignia basically tells you how many coins you get per boss kill, right? So obviously, if you're doing it at the Pride difficulty, you're not gonna be getting that many seals. But you, as if you do this daily, you're gonna be leveling up the Undying Insignia. So for me, I have it at Pen. And once you have your insignia at pen, that's when you can start making 100 cron stones a day just by killing all of the bosses, which usually takes around between 5 to 10 minutes, depending. And so this is the, the, the undying seal that you get. Usually people just always pick for the cron stones. You get, you see, you turn in 3 and you get between 1 to 5 cron stones, which is amazing. So the more you do this, the more cron stones you're going to be able to get. The reason why people don't do this is because the bosses are kind of tedious, man. You have to do mechanics from that aren't really straightforward and all that jazz. But this was released a long, long time ago, even before Land of the Morning Light. So those of you guys who are brand new to the game, you know, get your gear score up because gear score is really inflated compared to this. So that means you guys got to take advantage of the free crown stones they're handing out, especially after the crown stone changes. That's basically like 300 million that you're getting in like about 5 minutes. So that is like 100% worth it for any person geared or not. So don't sleep on this. Don't sleep on this. And also, there is a rare boss. It is a Musa and it drops anywhere between 30 to 40 seals on killing him. It happens randomly. This Musa boss just happens in between the rounds of your bosses that you are killing in the arena. And I do have some footage of it, which it should be playing in the background. This song's a bop. Oh, we got the Musa, bro. We got the secret boss. Yeah, this is a secret boss where it gives you more of these things. So it's like after this, the way how you know it's a secret boss, number one, it's a Musa. Number two, you do a fight immediately after this one. And your pets have to pick up the seals. Yeah, but this fight's pretty easy. I don't know if you lose it. Like, I don't know if you have a chance to, like, refight him if you lose. So I wouldn't, like, play too, too dumb about it. But this does give you, like, about 40... Um... Okay, let me put away my pets. Before I kill him. Check it all. Yeah, so we can actually see how many uh, things we got from him. So you actually need to pick it up. Yeah, you get like 30 to 40. I picked up 40 from him one time. So it's just good. It's just like a secret boss that randomly spawns in on your Pit of the Undying. But yeah, that's how you basically get 100 free crown stones a day in 5 minutes. Do not sleep on this, you guys. Basically, if every tap that I'm doing right now costs 2100 crown stones. So basically, in about a week or two, you know, I should get enough crown stones to do a free tap. So do not sleep on this. Make sure you guys turn in the seals. There is a little bit of a bug where it doesn't show you the item icon whenever you're trying to turn it in to the vendor. 
So just make sure you're reading through each option because I missed it a couple of times. But with that, you guys, like... That's it, man. You guys are missing out on 100 free crown stones a day. You guys need to do it. Gear score is inflated. It should be easy, and if you need to know mechanics, just look up the specific boss because they're already on YouTube. This this stuff is so old. For me, I don't even do the mechanics. I just do the damage, and the things just die in 30 seconds. So with that, you guys, I'll see you next time. Also, post-editing to Conte, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna roll the footage from my Twitch on me doing all of the boss fights. So yeah, inflated video time, let's go! We, we got to, bro. We have to. You gotta hit him with the gabagoo. Ah, God, my allergies. Honestly, they should have like an Undernight collab with Mustache, bro. Do -do 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 -do. The inevitable Death Cesar. One, two, three, four. Damn, we did a lot of damage though. The almighty power. The spearman shit. Okay. This guy. Easy fight. Just takes a bit. Defense is up, dude. Oh no! How am I supposed to kill them? I feel like for half of the fight, they just lay on the floor, bro. They're on the floor. Get those down attacks. Do 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 do. 
do 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 do. Man, I was getting into that. Alright, next one, next fight. Third duel, Pit of the Undying. Do, 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 do. This song's a bop. Oh, we got the Musa, bro. We got the secret boss. Yeah, this is a secret boss where it gives you more of these things. So, it's like, after this, the way how you know it's a secret boss, number one, is a Musa. Number two, you do a fight immediately after this one. And your pets have to pick up the seals. Yeah, but this fight's pretty easy. I don't know if you lose it. Like, I don't know if you have a chance to, like, refight him if you lose. So, I wouldn't, like play too too dumb about it but this does give you like about 40 um here, let me put away my pets before i kill him check it all yeah so we can actually see how many uh things we got from him so you actually need to pick it up yeah you get like 30 to 40 i picked up 40 from him one time so it's just good, it's just like a secret boss that randomly spawns in on your Pit of the Undying. Alright, this one, this is one of the fights that either goes by very, very quickly because they stay in the same spot, or they iframe every two seconds to Uganda. It looks like they're gonna do that. I love it. Yeah, sometimes the boss will stand in one spot, sometimes the boss will do exactly this. I'm surprised they stayed in two spots once. And then they're teleporting somewhere else. Okay, it doesn't even give me a chance to hit you. Um, very interactive. Where is it? This way. Yeah, it's this way. Alright, well this is the last boss. So, they didn't give me any of the harder fights. They just gave me the one annoying fight and that's about it. I'd rather face uh, the Archer more than the other two, like, the Berserker. Sometimes the Berserker takes, like, two seconds. Sometimes it takes fucking 15 minutes, dude. I don't know. That's how you know you made a bomb like soundtrack if you don't mind the song repeating like three or four times. Ancient Wave. Easy now, give me all my crons. Bro, we might actually enhance today. Garmoth in an hour and 36 minutes, dude. So we honestly can just, like, go out and do an hour at the other new place and then make our happy butt back. So let's just do it. 